Hello everybody. This is Arul here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to stream the telemetry messages from the IoT device to the cloud services. So why cloud? But before we answer this question, we should understand why we read the telemetry messages from the sensors. Why we read the temperature, weather, soil moisture. So I would say to control, predict and set our desired properties. For example, we want to control the temperature in a food processing plant so that we can prevent foodborne illness and also to follow FDI guidelines to keep the temperature to a desired property. Or if you if you would like, you can also control your temperature at your home. So now comes the question how how to apply the computation power to set the desired property either in cloud or extending the cloud capabilities to the edge location edge location is nothing but where your device resides it might be your home your manufacturing unit or a retail store uh, so the computation at client location so cloud services uncover a lot of possibilities to control, to predict and take action on the event and apply the analytics. We can do an end-to-end -end automation with the telemetry messages that's read from the device. So in this video, I'm going to use AWS, Amazon Web Services, IoT service to stream the data from DHT22 sensor to read temperature and humidity using the Raspberry Pi. So before we start, you should have an AWS subscription. Uh, so it comes with first 12 months uh, free. Uh, we can use most of the services with the AWS with the free subscription. Okay, let's get started. So once you uh, log in to your AWS, you can see all the services listed here. So here you just uh, need to <coughs> type IoT uh, Core. So once you select that, uh, you will be able to load the IoT dashboard. So if you don't have a device, you will uh, have a welcome message to register for a new device. Um, so I already have a device, so that's why it is showing a dashboard here. Uh, so you need to go to the onboard or ma ma manage to add a device so here if you go click create <coughs> so uh, once you create you just need to select uh, create single uh, device or you can also create many devices but for demo purpose i'm going to do a single uh, thing you can give your um, uh, device name or what device you are going to connect whether it's a raspberry or car or truck whatever you want to do um, connect with an iot services just give that device name and uh, you can tag and also um, group the devices if you want to do so i'm not going to do it for now uh, next i'm going to click next <coughs> now uh, for each device there will be a certificate that is generated so these certificates will authorize the device to get connected uh, to the uh, IoT, um, IoT services, AWS IoT services. So usually this is all follows the asymmetric uh, certificates like X509 certs. So if you want to know more, or more about those certificate, I would recommend you to Google and see. So these certificates will come up with private, public, uh, root CA. Uh, certificates for your device you just need to download uh, those certs to your local device from where you're going to connect uh, to the AWS IoT services so these are the private public certs and for root uh, CA you need to download from another portal so you just need to follow the link that is provided below and that will take you to download the root uh, CA certificate so once that is done, uh, you uh, need to configure that in a code so we can see that later. Uh, um, 
so after you do uh, generate the certificate you have to activate so don't forget to activate it um, once you um, activate your uh, certificate will be like enable status and later we have to attach the policy so we didn't uh, can generate the policy so i'm just marking as done and moving to the iot core dashboard again so now we need to generate the policy so policy is nothing um but uh, giving access and um, allow access uh for the iot services so what our devices or what the endpoints are going to do uh, like IoT publish to a topic or uh, subscribe so go to secure go to policies uh, so that will take you to the policy page so I have already existing two policies there so if you want to create policy just click on create that will take you to the policy creation page here you can give your user defined policy name and here you have to configure the action and the amazon resource network endpoint so I'm going to give just a truck policy and here um, there are a lot of iot services like um, action can be like publish subscribe connect or receive or shadowing so for demo purpose i'm just going to allow all services of iot and also the AR allow and create it. So uh, if you want to configure in prod production environment, I would recommend you to configure to the respective endpoint as a security practice. Um, so for example, if you want to give a publish, just give publish and give a respective endpoint or a topic name. Uh, so don't open uh, by providing a star in the production environment. So for demo purpose, I'm using it for now. So once the policy is uh, created, I'm not going to create because I already have a policy. Uh, so uh, there are three main things, right? So one thing that uh, going to connect to IoT services, another one is a certificate, and another one is a policy. So once it is all created, uh, we have to attach the thing and the policy to the certificate. So <coughs> now we are going back uh, to the certificate and select the respective certificate um, uh, so, uh, what we have generated so i'm going to use the existing certificate that i am have and i'm going to show how to attach so here this is how, this is how you are going to attach the policy select your um, policy for the certificate attach and select your thing and attach the respective thing to your uh, certificate so this is done so we have created things certificate policies and the attachment is done so a lot of uh, infra setup is done so now uh, we need to uh, decide on what we are going to do with the telemetry uh, message right so we have to act so there is an act tab uh, in the iot service dashboard just click on that and uh, go to the rules so we are here we are not going to write a rule so i have an existing rule so if you want to create you can just click create and give the uh, rule name here and give a small description of your rule name like um, a rule for a temperature so if some temperature is below a certain point or beyond certain point of uh, degree celsius uh, this rule will get triggered uh, so this uses something called a uh, rule query statement uh, which will query your topic so where the telemetry message is being published um, so from there uh, we can filter the message that's coming from the device for example this is the rule query statement example uh, so they have given select star from IoT topic. So that's a topic name. So here you can also use the condition, right? So like put a where condition and filter out uh, the temperature which is greater than or lesser than for a certain point of degree Celsius. So this applies to everyone, even in soil moisture is low or high. We can filter out from the topic uh, by filtering out. Um, we can send or route the messages to another service like add an action 
So there are a lot of services you can configure in the rule, like sending to Lambda or sending to a DynamoDB table, send a SNS push notification. So uh, for this demo purpose, I'm going to use uh, SNS pu push uh, certifications. So I have already configured my rule. So this is the rule. Um, so if you see here, I have selected the topic name filtered and I have configured the S uh, push notification. So I, I will come uh, later how to configure, create a topic for an SNS. So that is a different thing. So where you need to create a separate topic and a subscription, um, we will go uh, to that in, in a little bit. Um, so this is this query I have written. <coughs> Uh, so I'm going to change this query to filter out uh, the messages, the temperature that I'm going to read from the topic. So I'm going to edit. And here I'm going to filter out like putting a where condition, uh, like where the temperature is greater than 21 degrees Celsius. So whenever the temperature is greater than 21, it will um push a notification so i'm going to update and then <coughs> save it so our rule is ready now so next um, <coughs> we need to check on how to configure the sns uh, push notification so uh, we are going back to the dashboard and just uh, search for um, SNS service so just click on the services search for um, SNS simple notification service uh, so once you get that there will be like a topic and subscription dashboard just click on the topic and create topic so I already have my topic but um, I will show you uh, how to create a topic maybe if you need uh, as an example so uh, this will have their separate uh, subscription as well. So I already configured my subscription um, So let's create a topic now create and give your user defined uh, name uh, like email me or test SMS uh, and Given display name. So there is also an encryption optional um, an access policy. That's also an optional if you want you can configure that uh, for demo purpose, I'm not going to do. I'm just uh, clicking create topic and each topic should need a subscription. So in my existing topic, if you see, I have already subscribed uh, my email. Uh, if you want to create subscription, just click on the subscription and uh, it will have the ARN and the, here you can select your endpoint, right? So like an email or an, if you want to send it to a Lambda function, email as in JSON. Uh, we can configure here in a protocol uh, so uh, once that is done you will uh, get an <coughs> email so you have to confirm the subscription so only then uh, you will be uh, receiving a notification uh, when the rule has been executed so now uh, we are done with uh, all our aws uh, resource setup we created thing policy cert and we configured the rule and also the sns push certificate uh, so now uh, we need to log in uh, to the Raspberry Pi uh, and download some uh, AWS IoT SDKs uh, and run some commands and execute the uh, Python code uh, to read the telemetry data from the device. So before we connect uh, to the Raspberry, uh, you need to just uh, connect all the DHT22 sensors to the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, 3. Uh, if you want to know about the circuit, uh, please do check out my uh, previous video uh, where I have shared the detailed circuit diagram on how to connect this uh, sensor to the Raspberry and get the reading. So now um, I logged into my um, Raspberry Pi. So uh, before we run our code, we have to uh, install some AWS IoT device SDK and couple of commands. Uh, so uh, we have to install the Python and uh, other uh, setup. So I'll show uh, show you in a second about those commands. Yeah. So these are the AWS IoT device SDK. Uh, we have to clone that uh, GitHub uh, to your Raspberry Pi if you are using a Raspberry Pi device, and then go to the folder and install the Python setup. 
once that is done you will see the following command on your console um, so if everything looks uh, good uh, then you have to um, configure your code with all your secrets so this is our code i will share you this uh, repo uh, in the de below description so i'll just explain you about this code so this will uh, import the rpi gpi open uh, and then the dht22 module uh, and also we will import uh, aws iot python sdk so if you see it is the gpio initialization and our uh, cert uh, configuration so this is where you need to configure your certs uh, root and private and this uh, security uh, home files so once that is done <coughs> you uh, need to configure the publish topic uh, and the while loop so while loop when there, whenever there is a reading from your uh, sensor uh, it will drop a message uh, to your uh, particular topic so from our case it is thing 01 data is our topic name um, so these are some of the formats that are we have done so i will share this code uh, so you can refer it later if you want to uh, do this project so yeah so this is uh, something that payload and we are going to get it so if you're not getting a reading then there will be a dot message that will be printed out in the console so let's uh, get save this and execute our code it's python and the file name and then you just need to execute it okay so now we have started to uh, read the temperature and the humidity from the sensor um, so this is how it looks so sometimes if it is not reading the temperature it just prints a dot so that's how we have written our code uh, otherwise this we are getting a timestamp temperature and the humidity so now uh, we have to check whether uh, these messages are coming to our um, AWS uh, topic so uh, we created our MQTT client and the topic name we uh, configured as thing01 uh, data so let's uh, go to our mqtt client so there is something called test to validate whether the messages are receiving it so just you need to subscribe to the topic click on the test and go to um, subscribe uh, to a topic and type it as thing data so yeah so now we should see yes uh, so now we are seeing the uh, temperature and the humidity data from our raspberry pipes so yeah so um, now yes our code is executing well we are able to uh, receive the messages from the raspberry uh, so um, if the temperature is about 21 then we should get an uh, email right so that that's how the we configured our rule uh, so let's quickly go and check whether we are getting an um, emails because I see the temperature is about 21 degree Celsius here uh, So yes, I got an email notification. So this is my email box uh, So if you see there is an AWS notification that's happened uh, so Whenever the temperature is above 21 are you getting this message? Uh, so likewise uh, we can do lot of um, message routing so whenever uh, we read a telemetry message from an IOT device so for and we can get it into a dashboard so this is something out of dashboard from an IOT core where it shows a successful connections and the message process published and the rule that is executed uh, likewise we can build a lot of um, dashboard to read insights on the telemetry message to do a predictive analysis thank you for watching uh, if you like this video please do um, subscribe the channel uh, and follow thank you bye bye